hi guys and welcome back to my channel today I am going to do just a quick little get ready with me casual what I would wear to work get ready with me it's nothing glamorous or anything so I'm really excited to film this for you I'm looking really rough I'm so sorry about that it's been um, quite the past week I have been getting up in between 5 30 and 6 every single day including the weekends someone my little one is asleep if you see me keep looking over here and he's been up bright and early so um i'm looking a little rough but hopefully with the makeup we put on today i will be looking a little bit better um he is trying to fall asleep right now if you hear him whining here and then um his dad is home as well so he's going to be going in there um, and helping him if he can't go to sleep so please I hope you don't mind that in this video if you are new to my channel please go ahead and hit that um, thumbs up button and the subscribe button I would love for you guys to follow me on my YouTube I am still brand new to YouTube and I'm so excited to share this journey with you and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning into my video you as well hit that thumbs up button and let's go ahead and get started into this video Okay, so to get started with the video, I am going to go ahead and use my Tarte Shake Tape, um, the hydrating foundation. Um, I haven't tried the matte one yet. I wanted to go ahead and pick it up next time, but I want any day now. Anyways, but I wanted to go ahead and pick this one up um, to try it out first because I did buy this quite a while ago. If you see me looking over in the corner this is where I actually have my mirror but I'm gonna go ahead I'm like really running out so you're gonna see me like scraping this onto my face to make sure that I have enough it is completely almost out um, what I do I don't usually put primer on my face because when I wake up in the morning I can still really feel my moisturizer from the night before so, I mean, unless it's like a super glamorous look, like if I'm going out um, somewhere at night or like the full day, I'll put a primer on. Or um, if I like find one that really interests me, I mean, I'll go ahead and buy it and just kind of try it out for the meantime. But more than likely, I don't use a primer just because my skin is, I swear to God, like after I had a baby, it have took like a total 360 on me and like I just can't I can't find anything that really works and to blend my foundation I'm using a morphe m439 brush I just washed all my brushes and it's like so so satisfying and it's so sad because they're just gonna get super dirty all over again um I can I'm not gonna say I can go quite a while not not washing my brushes because that's kind of gross <laughs> um, but I can um, go like a pretty decent amount of time I don't have to um, wash them like every single week I can kind of go like every two weeks and wash them um, just because I like to use different brushes I mean like I do have my favorites and I'm just bringing it kind of down my neck at the moment but um, I do have like a variety of brushes that I use so it's not like I'm using the same ones over and over again and I'm also taking this on my ear and down my neck I don't know if I said that already but it's not that big of, it, it's really not that big of a deal I think if you don't want to wash your makeup brushes like every single week now if I'm like on like a beauty blender or like a beauty sponge kick I'm just like shoving everything to the side um, then I'll wash them more because not only do I like use my foundation and my concealer, I also sometimes will use powder like to bake my face. Uh, it sounds like so, it sounds just so extra, but that's what it's called. So as you can see, like I'm trying to use natural light as much as possible because a lot of people say, well, natural light's the best. Um enough but I am going to apply just a little bit more I usually have to do this this isn't something like out of the ordinary for me um yes I'm going to put concealer probably in these same places but you know what that's okay and this okay the shape tape concealer is a lot better full coverage than their foundation and I am using the shade light neutral yeah light neutral but 
Okay, so next I am going to use my Too Faced Concealer. It is the Conceal Contour Highlight and Retouch Concealer. And I have the shade Snow. This concealer, I mean, I, I kind of like it. It's, it's working. I'm just trying to use it up, so to speak. There you go. I don't know. I hate this camera. I really do. I paid $800 for this camera and I hate it so much. Um, but this concealer, it is kind of on the lighter side for me. Um, I didn't really test it when I went in stores because I was in a rush and I'm always in a rush. <laughs> um, but I mean, I do like this concealer, but as you can see, it is like so, <laughs> it's so light. And it kind of sucks because they're not the cheapest things in the world. And Too Faced is kind of a more expensive brand. I don't have all um, like high end, not high end, but I don't have all, you know, kind of expensive makeup. I do have some drugstore stuff, which is awesome. But it works for now. And I'm just going to be blending out my concealer with this Black Beauty Blender. It's almost time to retire it and get a new one, and it's so sad. I've had this one for so long, but it really has held up. They're $20 a piece, and I would definitely recommend if you don't have a beauty blender, you should go ahead and try to get one and see how you like it. I really like it, especially for the precision of how well this can get all the way up in my upper corner. And not only do I take this in my upper corner, I do go ahead right over my eyelids as well to me it's not that big of a deal i am if you're doing a look that has a ton of eyeshadow you're doing like a really good smoky eye or you're doing you know a super colorful look and you want to really pack on the eyeshadow i wouldn't necessarily use concealer i would use my <laughs> hello um i would use like a eye primer i like the smashbox eye primer it's really good but this works for now. I don't want to spend $20 on a sponge. Um, you can go ahead and get the Real Techniques sponge. Uh, Real Technique, Real Techniques. They have two versions of their orange sponge, like their you know super well-known orange sponge. They have the regular one, which is bigger than the Beauty Blender, um, but not giant. And then they do have a giant one. It's the Real Techniques face and body sponge. Um, I've never necessarily used it on my body, but I could totally see why you would use it on your body if you had like body makeup or if you're trying to blend in your self tanner. If you use self tanner, this sponge is huge. It's like as big as my hand. Uh, my hands aren't really this big. It's just the camera. Go ahead in with the Too Faced Born This Way powder. What I like about this powder is that it has a little lid on it. This powder is great for traveling. That way it won't spill all over your bag. And what I do, I just take the powder, I dump a little bit out into the cap, and I take this. I just got this brush. I really love it. I was using like a contour brush from Morphe to actually set my under eyes, but this one, it's a lot looser so it can gently spread the product without putting too much product underneath your eyes and it's by Sonia Kashuk and it's the tapered finishing brush and it's just I think it's like a really super sleek looking brush you know it's nothing too bulky because when you think like drugstore you kind of think you know not very elegant not very good and Sonia Kashuk is sold at Target um if it helps you out i have not seen it at like walmart walgreens cvs um i really don't shop in rite aid we don't have a lot of them here um we only have a few so i don't know if they're sold there but as far as i know they're only sold at um online on their store maybe you can even check amazon but they're only sold at target and i really love a lot of her brushes they do have a lot of her brushes and a lot of her brushes do come in like sets and um, I'm just setting the rest of my face with this brush because it's big enough to where you can set the rest of your face. Um, but I love their brushes. A lot of them come in sets. I will admit they're a little more higher price than, say, any other drugstore brand brushes. Like, you know how you can get Wet n Wild brushes for like a dollar? Um, and yes, Wet n Wild brushes are amazing as well. But these, I will admit, they're a little more higher priced, but I wouldn't say they're as high priced as like Sephora brushes or like it cosmetic brushes or Kat Von D brushes um, because I have seen the price of those. Like one brush, a Sephora brush could maybe, you know, get you down like 30 bucks. These will get you down like maybe 15, so to speak. So it's not too bad. And I really like the price of these and the quality is amazing. Especially this brush. This brush is so good. Next, 
we are going in with my morphe m527 brush it's been through a lot as you can i don't know if you can see all the bristle bristles <laughs> that is my fault i really do like this brush so it's completely my fault because i've put this brush through the ringer and i've had this for so long um, but we are going to take that all my makeup is like right in front of me if you see me digging around We are going to take the Neutrogena healthy skin blends natural radiance bronzer in sunkissed And just go along that's like a great face. I just made just go along the kind of like the apples and up of my cheek and then the edges of my forehead and what this bronzer does it really does give you a good radiance like definitely sun-kissed like you know the name but it really is great especially for an everyday bronzer but why did this bronzer put me on a manhunt to find it well that's because as far as i knew last time i bought it years ago not years ago but a long time ago this bronzer was sold everywhere i mean um Publix, the grocery store walmart CVS, Walgreens, Target, um, Ulta, anywhere you could find Neutrogena products, you could find this bronzer. Well, when I went to go repurchase a new one, I could not find this bronzer anywhere. Like, nowhere I could not find it. I looked at CVS, and I looked at Publix, and I looked at Target, because those are the three main places I go couldn't find it couldn't find it i'm like okay well you know they are co constantly you know bringing in new products and stuff um like new drugstore products so i was like okay you know i'll check um ulta because ulta carries high-end and drugstore products and even ulta didn't even have it so i was like oh my god where is this bronzer <laughs> um I could not find it and I know I'm like putting a lot on my face but my brush is still kind of damp so I'm just I'm trying to like blend it out as much as I can but like that's what you can do like you can really pack this bronzer on and it looks so beautiful and by no means am I like a professional makeup guru or anything this is just me doing my own thing giving my own advice if anyone wants it and then I do just take it along like I kind of pinch the brush and just take it on my i try to focus it really on my upper lip not so much just um like putting it all over my chin and then i'll take some and i will just kind of go down my neck right here hiding the extra baby fat no but just kind of blending it kind of down the neck along the edges i don't know big deal and i don't know it just gives you like a, a really good sun kiss look but even ulta didn't even have it so finally i went to walmart of course it was like 16 dollars. i don't know why walmart hiked up the price but i was like fine i need it but usually this bronzer will run you about 12 to 14 dollars depending on where you go you could try rite aid if you have rite aid they might have it but next we are going to take i have two main blushes i have one bare minerals blush in that peach though and one tart blush in feisty um and these are the colors right here i think i'm gonna go ahead i kind of like go switch back and forth with these so that's why i'm not entirely too sure but i just got this bare metal bare minerals blush and i've only used it a couple times and that's the color of it it's just your super typical like peachy nude color and it's very very versatile on many skin tones so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smile and just kind of go from half of my apple and back and just kind of I do pack it on there it's gonna be like super vibrant right now but I go back in with a different brush that I'll show you in just a second and I do blend that in and out with my bronzer Okay, so right now it's kind of looking a little clown face, but that's totally okay because we're going to go in with this brush, and I did get this brush at CVS. It's the MUA Professional Makeup Academy brand, and it's the stippling brush. This brush, I did get the inspiration from Casey Holmes, um, one of the makeup YouTube, you know, YouTubers here that we have on YouTube. Well, after we go ahead and blend that out, some days I do highlight along my cheekbones and sometimes I don't. It really just depends on the type of, you know, feeling I have. 
but for this video I thought why not we're gonna step it up just one notch but today I think I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, the Casey Holmes Smashbox palettes I do have two of them I have the gold and the pearl palette but because I'm not self tanned I think I'm gonna go with the pearl palette and I did just get this wet and wild gold bar I'm not I, I might use this today I'm not sure but this is the packaging of it and it's I think it's brand new um, and it's the shade earth I think they have two more other shades but one is like super bronze and one is like either super pink or super silver but today I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the Smashbox Smashbox palette from Casey Holmes and when you open it you do have a giant mirror I'm not gonna show you cuz I'll just blind you all and then you have three different shades one going from the lightest to kind of the more golden shade and this is the more chunkier and this is the more finer side and the brush I'm going to be using with this is the Luxie 660 precision foundation brush I know I'm using a foundation brush for my highlight but that's totally okay you use your brushes for whatever you want to use here the lighter one and the middle one and just tap off your brush a little bit and just go right in like a half circle motion along your cheekbones and it's very very subtle but it's not too subtle to where you can't see. and that's what I like about it so much and you know you just go in as much as you want whatever your preference is and you just take the excess and go along your nose and your cupid's bow area and that is it for our highlight and if you have too much highlight on you actually put too much on you can always go back in with your sibling brush and blend it out or if you think that your highlight line is too harsh like you can just see a, a straight line you can always go with this brush and blend it right out and you still get that awesome glow on the side of your cheekbone thing we're going to do is brows i take these two items right here to do my brows one is just a Morphe spoolie, basic, super basic, and the next one is the, yeah, no, can't read it. <laughs> this is what the lettering looks like. There's nothing there, but it is a Morphe, and it's the pointed tip one, the Morphe um, eyebrow brush. <laughs> There's literally nothing left on this brush, so I do apologize for that. And what I'm going to be taking to fill in my eyebrows is the Anastasia Dip Brow. And I am using the shade Blonde. Now, is this my perfect shade because my hair is a disaster? I'm not really sure. It was. It was my perfect shade. But now the shade that I'm using to finish up the pot. Um, I have been, you know, I've dug into this quite a bit. So, and I love it. And that's the color as well. It's kind of got a more gray undertone, like a cool undertone. Um, I really want to get my hair redone <laughs> so bad. I'm not a professional at doing my eyebrows either, so please, if you're going to take any advice, I really hope you take advice in the products I use. <laughs> not the actual application. But what I do to my eyebrows is I'll just do one straight and it is like a little bit different for me to do my eyebrows right here so i'm kind of feeling a little awkward um but what i do is i um just i cut out the bottom which is again not perfect but i cut out the bottom right here and then i just flick it up i'll blend that line up and then when i'm ready i will go ahead and try to carve out the top too and usually i can just dip my brush in like one time and then I can fill in like my whole eyebrow and then I'll just kind of like go in and out with this spoolie and then just kind of see like what needs to be done but yeah they're not perfect like they're not perfect but again if you're gonna take any advice from my crazy eyebrows that need to be done professionally I hope it's the products <laughs> Because the products are awesome. Like, I, I really do love this. Like, even for someone who really doesn't do their makeup, like, professionally and just does it for, like, leisure, 
I really like these products. Okay, so now that we have my eyebrows filled in, by no means are they twins. Maybe they're not even sisters. They might be long distance cousins, but that's totally okay. If you feel comfortable with your eyebrows and you feel beautiful, that is how your eyebrows are gonna roll. And so, <laughs> that's so corny. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but next, what we are going to do is put just a little bit of eyeshadow in the crease of our eyes because the reason why we're putting just a little bit, if I can find my eyeshadow palette that I just chucked on the floor, but the reason why we're gonna be putting just a little bit of eyeshadow in our eyeballs today is that it will blend the whole face together so that you don't have so much going on in your cheeks and you have stark white right in the middle of your face. So it's a good idea to just transition the whole face and that it blends all together. Okay, so I did zoom you guys in like a lot. I'm so sorry if it's like, all up in your personal space but i want you guys to be able to see the eyeshadow look that we're gonna do today um like i said super super simple it's gonna be super warm as well so if you're into warm sh warm shadows that is awesome if you're into cool tone shadows i like cool tone shadows too but i just gravitate towards the warm ones more Okay, so we are going to go in with this Modern Renaissance palette. It is just really my go-to palette and the packaging is so slim, so handy to travel as well. And we are going to just tap into this shade right here, Raw Sienna. Uh, Raw Sienna is the first one that I hit pan on. So you could tell how good I like this. And I'll just do windshield wiper motions back and forth very very lightly i did tap off my brush i didn't even pick up a lot of product circular motions back and forth now i'm really putting this in my crease i am going a little bit above and i'm going a little bit below it's really not like okay sorry my battery died <laughs> um but it's really you know super you know important that you don't think that you have to be you know strict or anything on where you place this eyeshadow the only thing that you should focus on is that you're blending the eyeshadow out very very well and even if you don't blend it out really well you know what everyone is not perfect you blend it out to a degree or an extent that you feel like your eyeshadow is rocking and popping and beautiful and you know i used to use tape all the time i used to be super super into makeup i mean like full glam every single day at a restaurant job that's too much <laughs> i'm sorry that is way too much i was always in the kitchen always sweating like i mean like full lashes and all and today like we're not even gonna put on lashes i used to be you know so like you had to have lashes like i hated my natural lashes and i'm at the point in my life now where i'm like I like how I look. I'm content with how I look. It's easy and it's quick and I don't have to do a lot of work. I'm not saying I'm lazy or anything, but just saying like, I mean, it would take me almost like two hours just to do my makeup and now it takes me like 20 minutes, which is okay. After we got the sides blended in on both sides, I am going to go in with just a slightly more tapered brush. Not by much though. It's not like the big fluffy brush, but it's the Morphe M573 brush. <laughs> And I'm still getting over cold, so I do apologize for that. But I am taking the tiniest, tiniest bit of this shade right here, the Cypress Umber. And it's like so sad because I just washed my brush and it's white, you know what I mean? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to slowly do tiny like pats, circular motions, whatever you want to do on the outside. And then slowly bring this on the inside. Now this, uh, with this brush... I am going to try to taper it more towards my crease and down. I'm not trying to go above my crease by any means because at this point I'm trying to define my outer corner and kind of work towards filling in my eyeball, my eyelid. Not so much dispersing color, you know, everywhere like we did with the, um, tra the transition shade. And like I said, I mean, you can barely see it, but like in person, it just, you know, adds a little bit of depth and volume and, you know, fabulous to your eyeballs. But we're just going to do the same thing. And I like to hold my brushes on the very end. I used to hold my brushes right here, and that's how you look like a clown um, if you have a super heavy hand like me. Now, if you have a super light hand, 
you can hold your brushes wherever you please and it'll look amazing but I like to hold my brushes um, more towards the end there we go but as you can see we kind of got a little crazy right here so I'm just gonna go in with again with that um, first brush that we used and honestly I'm just like blending I'm just blending onto my actual eyelid I'm not being super you know strict on where I'm putting this but that's it really sorry I'm like looking over my shoulder but I, I keep coming out of focus but that's okay so as you can see it just brings like some color into your eyes like it's really not that big of a deal if you don't want to even wear any eyeshadow you can also take your bronzer sometimes I'll even do that I'll just take that Neutrogena bronzer and just you know one two three and then I'm done but you know we're, we're spicing it up just just a tiny bit and then I'm gonna go in with this shade right here is it Vermeer or Vermeer one right here and when I say barely on my brush I really do mean barely on my brush like it's the tiniest bit and the only thing I do is just put this right here kind of like carve out my eyelid you know just to kind of brighten up the inner corner it's you know nothing super super crazy you always want to make sure you take um, all the excess off your brush and this is just a paddle brush like is it called a paddle brush it's just um, like a flat brush from elf I'm talking same brush if you just want to go ahead and wipe it off really good and like I said all brushes are versatile usually I would use a pencil brush but for this instance I didn't grab one to bring over with me so I'm just going back into the raw sienna shade and I'm just putting it right there on my lower lash line kind of stopping in the middle and not going any more towards your inner corner but this way if you wanted to just add a little definition below the eyelid your eyeball not your eyelid <laughs> you can get it and it just kind of like brings everything together as well and then next I'm going in with my mascara that's over here not over there and I am going to be using the Roller Lash by Benefit Cosmetics. And mine's like all dirty on the handle. I really don't know if it's just like wear and tear from like opening the handle. Because it is a um, light pink top. But I just kind of go back and forth. Um, you know, zigzag motions and stuff like that. Stick. I did my hair off camera. I quickly did some like super quick loose curls. They're nothing spectacular, nothing amazing, um, but I do like it for just these like super super loose curls. I just feel like it really freshens my hair up. I am running on days with my hair without washing it. I've just been using some dry shampoo, so I wanted to go ahead and show you the three products that I achieved for just this like super. I mean, they're like super loose curls like just my hair is almost just wavy at one point but I really don't mind it at all so the first product that I did use before I put anything in my hair I know I should use a heat protectant I have one in mind pick it up which I know is terrible but my product is the t3 and it, I believe it's the twirl like the twirl it's a twirl iron maybe but what it is it's just this giant thing right here I think this is a one inch barrel and what you do you just clip the very end or wherever you want to start your curl I like to leave maybe a half an inch or even a quarter inch off and then um, you can either twist it right or left and what it does when you twist it it'll actually sense it and it will tur it will twirl on its own either way either if you want you know curls facing you or facing away from you and I think that's really cool so after you clip it in and you turn it the way you want you can just press this button this white button right here on the side and you should be able to just click it you don't have to hold it down sometimes it's a little sensitive depending on how far over you have this so it takes you maybe one or two clicks and then it will curl your hair all the way for you and I think that's really awesome and I thought well Maybe that's kind of pointless, you know, maybe it's just if you're feeling a little lazy, but it, I don't know, it just makes your hair just curl so much 
easier. Like it takes the hassle away and I never knew like how much of a difference it would feel until I bought this. Now this is kind of expensive. I got mine on sale for $99 which is amazing but I want to say this runs around $190 but I would check out the T3's website. I used this for the first time as well and this is the Sheriff it's called the Sheriff by Dry Bar, and this is the medium hold hairspray. They do have a maximum and like a lighter one, uh, like a minimum hold, but I really like this medium hold. Um, it has a great smell. It's not like overpowering, like a fake chemical-y beauty smell. This one has a really light and airy beauty smell, and it's like the cutest packaging ever. It's in like this peach packaging, and the mist is so like nice it's not like have you ever had a hairspray that's like wet when you spray it i've had that issue before unfortunately with a drugstore one i know it sucks because they're cheaper but i would definitely save up your money it's under 30 dollars for sure but i believe it's around like in between the 20 and 30 dollar mark so it definitely is worth your money though and i love the smell of it it's amazing and then i have the batiste dry shampoo in the wild um like style it's not the scent the scents are kind of all the same to me um but they do have um like a more floral one they have like a brunette one they have a light and fresh one where it's like a super light one but this one is great um you i didn't put a lot in it you can't really tell but it definitely made a difference in real life on camera it's kind of hard to tell but it definitely took the heaviness out of my hair and made it more like bouncy if that makes sense um definitely took the oil out of my hair which is great but in person like i'm looking in my other um camera right here and it really just made like a fun flirty i wouldn't say frizzy but like that messy type hair right now we are going to get into my lip products i know that was kind of like you know off to the side doing my hair stuff but i really wanted to show you guys what i did to my hair i feel like it's really important and i love um watching like those parts of beauty videos as well when people like include the stuff that they use in their hair because i'm really trying to focus a lot on my hair i know my roots are really scary and my split ends are really scary but that's going to be fixed and once that fixed we will have awesome hair <laughs> So first thing is I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in Bare to Comment. Wet n Wild has come out with amazing lip liners and amazing liquid lipsticks in the past, I believe it's two or three years. And this one is in Rebel Rose. So Bare to Comment and Rebel Rose are an awesome pair. I believe these two together will cost you under $9. I want to say the lip liner is like two and this one's maybe four or five dollars. So that is an awesome, awesome deal if you are balling on a budget. Um, I do um, have like an Estee Edit lip liner, which they don't make that line anymore. So I really haven't had any high-end liquid lipsticks, but my other favorite liquid lipsticks that you would consider high-end liquid lipsticks would be the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. And check out your local TJ Maxx and Marshalls because they just got a boatload of new high-end makeup Kat Von D, Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, Bare Minerals. Um, they even have like a Kevin Aquan. There was like a, a powder, but it was like an orange color. But I mean, they have the brand there. That's awesome. So I would definitely check out your TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Home Goods if you have them in your area. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. I'm looking in my other camera uh right over here so if i am like really close over here just bear with me and i'll show you guys like the finished product okay guys so that is my finished get ready with me my go-to makeup look some small small items change when it comes to doing my makeup but for the most part this is my overall face that i have every single day it is perfect for work it is perfect for your you know day off if you want to go out at night dinner breakfast lunch anything family gathering i love this look it's super simple and i hope you guys enjoyed it too i know this is like my first like legit makeup tutorial and hopefully it wasn't too long or wasn't too you know chatty chatty but i hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching again if you are a new subscriber go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like this video and also like this video if you're a returning subscriber and thank you so much for your loyalty with my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye